Today's Friday, so we can play it being fixed base Friday. And this was near enough for me to collect personally from an eBay purchase for £20. I was hoping to be able to show you the advert. But could I find it? No. And in this bag we have, complete with a missing knob, a Fidelity 3000 base station. What on earth is that mic? That's an illegal radio mic. We don't have things illegal here. Right, well, we'll we will do a standard mic to this, but we'll... Um, put this what this mic in the uh, if it works we'll put a different mic head to it didn't say I could uncurl it anyway he says this radio works so we'll see how working it is now if those of you who know will know that these can be as low as 1.7 watts and not be faulty. They certainly broke the mould and I've shown before that the they did an entertainment radio which was exactly the same style and you can sit the two side by side and it looks very nice. Um, not very good performing on the receive, not very good performing on the transmit. It does have a tape recorder socket at the back which enables you to obviously record to other devices, not just a tape recorder. And I noticed in the photographs he's got the attenuator anyway, switching on position and that surprised me. He says it works. It wouldn't have worked very well if he's had the attenuator in the on position. Now any of you who've got, oh it's, the case is grinning there. Um, it's got a, a nice uh, crack in the case. Don't know what's happened there. I mean, at least the case is in one piece. Now we previously did one of these using the correct method shown in the service manual, which is to use a as will come to me sweep generator. It takes a lot of doing. But since we've been doing sets solely with the cyanide meter, one of the viewers said, "Would I that plug needs changing? The cable is loose in the core grip, which means and it's the old type without the shrouded pins. So I will change that, but it won't be the second." and we'll just see whether it's got a fuse in it which is going to scare me or not it does it's got a 13 amp fuse in and of course that needs to be three but the bench is uh, fused etc etc elsewhere um, so for now that can stay now the other one we did when we did it with the sweep generator it came with a painted black case top and all these uh, decals and escutions were missing so if any of you have got a really really scrap one of these which has got a passable top and therefore the escutions um let give me send me an email and i'll buy it off you then we can make that one up because i've still got it it's all fully serviced beautiful ready to go but go where without a lid and uh, any of you have got a knob which will fit there <laughs> send me an email and i'll buy it off you Right, well, I'll pause the video while I plug it in. Okay, so it was last on channel 16, the meter's lit up. And we will switch this to power and signal. Yep. Right, so I'll put that meter on so that we can see whether it transmits. My goodness, it does. It's doing. Well, it's fluctuating a bit. It's doing two watts. I've seen worse after fully serviced. Wallow. <laughs> Didn't say there was any transmit. We've got any transmitted order. Oh, I'm channel 16. No wonder I haven't got any. 
wall out. One, two, one, two. Well, the mic doesn't work. There's no transmitted audio. Another good reason to throw away the TriStar mic. So unlike the Fidelity 1000, this uses an LC7137 synthesizer, so it is actually easier to set up in that regard, although it is a swine to set up, because some of the cores go in a position underneath the the works as you'll see. So I'll take the knobs off, we'll get the lid off and we'll take it from there. The first thing I've noticed before we, I took my phone some filing for that manual, we were actually in this room and not in the filing cabinet. One thing that has worried me is if we look down by the microphone connector, and I'll just move the camera across That looks to me like some poor resoldering. I'm wondering if someone has wired that for a, a different kind of pinout than what it's supposed to be. So that uh, that's an interesting thing. It's, it's a daft thing to do, to be honest. Um, people, a lot of people, will think that the Cybernet type of wiring on a four-pin plug is standard in inverted commas. But um, when somebody else has another radio like this, when somebody else buys it off them, it can be, it become quite a, quite a problem when it's been wired something else. And I really think that people who want all the all the mics to fit all the rigs they've got really ought to make themselves some crossover cables or some uh, little boxes with a, a socket on and a flying lead, uh, rather than actually change the wiring in the radio. So that is something we'll see later on but I'm going to initially we'll start with that uh, TriStar mic which is wired for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will just check that the power supply which isn't adjustable on this model we'll just see whether it's doing the kind of volts we would expect it to do. This is our original review actually find the remote remote. What did we think to it? Oh, we thought it looked good and we thought the squelch worked well. We thought they got good features. Oh, so they were $129.95 when they were new and uh, we bought ours uh, as a reconditioned one from a retail shop long gone in Nottingham for £50 at the time. All those samples long went. Um, it doesn't refer to this, which I say I paid 20 quid for, relatively local. It doesn't transmit audio, as we've already said. Um, so the fact he says it worked isn't kind of the truth. Oh, there's no service manual. Where's that then? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought the service manual would be in the folder, but it isn't. I'll see whether we've got a scan of it on file. Okay, roll on 15 minutes. And luckily I, I had previously scanned the service manual I can't find, and so I've printed out another copy. So what I'm looking for is how many volts that power supply is supposed to be. Because obviously I'd like it to be something close. So the thing actually wants the circuit diagram. And the thing I haven't got in this is the circuit diagram. What I have got is the wiring, hopefully, to that connector. See, not only have they 
done got rid of that you have altered this wiring there should be three capacitors to an earthing ring and the capacitors and the earthing ring are actually missing on the radio. I'm going to have to move the camera around from the radio. So no capacitors. So of course you can easily get transients and hums and buzzes and clicks and all things like that being transmitted. But again I'll look into that later on. So it has been messed with. Um, red shield green to the bottom yeah it's, it is wrong ok well it's guest time then we'll pop on the circuit on pin 14 and pin 20 on transmit should be logic zero so select channel 20 we've already done that now you see the connector frequency counter to, uh, and an RF vacuum to, to voltmeter so capacitor 110 or just L6, L8, L9, L10 you see this is if you're setting it up at a factory where it's not working at all uh, we're setting it up from fresh but it, because it's already transmitting all we need to do is to go through 6, 8, 9 and 10 and uh, for, as part of the of this the 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 13 for maximum output the radio is supposed to be able to do 3.7 watts but anything as low as 1, including 1.7 watts is acceptable but the fact it's doing 2 is already acceptable I'll just familiarise myself with um, where 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 13 are. Six. Eight. Ten, eleven, thirteen. So it looks to me like fifteen is a half. I haven't got the circuit so Fifteen. Yeah, at his peak. So the harmonic trap must be sixteen. So we avoid sixteen unless we put it on the spectrum analyzer. We've no reason to believe it's been altered. Okay, so I want the yellow tool, which is there. I want the ceramic tool for the earlier stages. And now you see the snag is that the control panel is in the way of doing any of these adjustments. We can just about get to some of them. I'm going to turn it off. And I can't even remember what, I think we have to take the board out. It's an absolute pain. Okay, so what I've done is to loosen some of the screws off so I can flex the panel a bit. Because it really is too much of a pain to be taking all this apart. So I can kind of pull this away hopefully going to transmit at the same time and let's put that make that meter on the screen
So there we've got uh, just over two watts. So we'll go for the first one. We've got a fraction more out of it. Go for the second one. So that's 10, I think. And that's peak. And then the next one, if I can see it, it's just down there. It's a bit, I can now get, I can get in without flexing the front panel on this one. So that exercise, taking all those screws out, gained us 100 milliwatts. So the next one, hopefully we can get that tool down. Yeah, I can feel it. We've actually got a dry joint to the aerial connector. Definitely got a peak now on that one. And then finally, let's hope we can get the yellow trimming tool in that. We have, and that's two and a half. Yep, so that's where we are, folks. Two and a half watts. Well, I've seen worse. See what it's doing on low power. 0.2 over what? Well, that was a surprise. I've been on about this microphone socket. at the back, but the microphone socket is actually at the side here. So that was disconnected and that was wired a different way. So hopefully I've, I'll just chuck that TriStar mic away. We've done a new mic. And let's hope that I've wired the mic right and that I've wired the radio right because I've had to do them both. Now, why would somebody do that, apart from the fact it's very, very difficult to get to that solder? Right, switch back on. We still have transmit. And we now have audio. So, I haven't got the speaker connected, so I will just plug the instrument speakers in. Because there should be a jack socket at the back for that, unless that's gone AWOL as well.
There we are, extension speaker. And those controls could do with a quick clean. At least these are full size controls, so you can actually get the service oil spout into there properly and not hoping to just get through an odd rivet. Well, that's much better. So we were a deviation, weren't we? So I'll put that camera back on. I'll get the little oscillator out. Not quite sure why it comes through the extension speaker, but it does. Would help if I looked up which is deviation, wouldn't it? So we'll start again on that test. Anyway, I'm glad I had that wiring diagram or I would have been uh, stuck. Um, so SVR3 is RF power. And SVR2 is deviation. SVR1, SVR4, SVR2, which is neatly behind the inset picture, just there. So let's do that now. And unplug that extension speaker again, I don't know why that is. So we'll set that down to about 2.1 and see what the effect of that is. Wallow. Wallow. I think that's about right for that. So SVR3, did we say, is the RF meter. There's a lot of insulating tape behind here because mains actually goes to the back of the on and off switch so although you've got that issue at least the, the thing does turn the uh, power off uh, there's so many CB base stations which leave the power transformer and power supply running all the time it's with one I can't find won't it Well, transmitters all the way down here at the front and all the way down there to the aerial. So you'd expect it to fill. I bet it's in one of these metal boxes. Let's have a look. That would be a nightmare to get to. So we'll turn that camera off again. We're done with the. Oops, wrong way. So two, one, <laughs> it's right on the front panel. Well, I'll tell you what, let's see what it reads. Well, first of all, we've got to activate the feature, haven't we? So it's VACB C B 
channel 9. Power and signal meter, that's it. Well, luckily, it's reading into the centre of the red zone. Now, of course, we know the radio is only doing 2.8 watts, but it still would be set to be the centre of the red zone. So, it is actually set right, but it's a nightmare. If you ever had to get to that, it's... it's, neck, it's oh, I wonder if you take the meter out. Yep, you can get to it. Well, where I'm putting the, the tool is just there. You can get to it by slipping the meter out. Anyway, I'm still glad it's set correctly. And then that seller tapes back in. <laughs> Okay, so we've done the transmitter. The whole point with us doing this exercise. Oh, I, I am going to do that um, one at the end, L16, that final one at the end, because it's clearly being messed with. So we'll get the spectrum analyzer on that. And I'll go into the, I'll have to do it in Mr. Chippy's um, backup. Um, oh backup table and um, we'll adjust that on a spectrum analyzer using camcorder so I haven't forgotten that we may get a bit more out of the radio yet we might not but it doesn't matter anyway it's doing more than its minimum so we're going over to receive so let's see what happens plug the speaker <laughs> I'll tell you what we didn't do on transmit. We never looked at the frequency it was transmitting on. I'll unplug that speaker again. And we'll switch to camera three. Should be seven nine one two five. It's in the. Uh, I would guess it's in the can there. Just check. It's TC two. And TC2 is in that left-hand corner of the can. 
So we will just have to open the can. Which is fun because this front panel support just happens to be screwed to the can. Let's see if we can unbend that because it's certainly bent. Anyway, I'd better pause the camera because this will go on forever. So what I've done is to slip it to one side enough to get to the... It's uh, it's easier with that bracket arrangement. Uh, so we'll key it up and... Seven nine zero eight eight instead of seven nine one two five. I don't like them this far out. I think it's still within spec though. That's going down. <laughs> it's going down. Whatever you do. No, it's not. It's come up. No. We're getting quite a lot of new sets which are coming out at 79100. Um, uh, this is uh, is so it's it's not going to come up. The, the, the crystal theoretically needs changing. Um, it's, it's within spec, so we'll leave it as it is. The the difficulty is if we've got to start taking this main board out, it means taking all the hardware off, like the. Um, um, like the aerial connector and so on, unscrewing the board, taking it out and, and changing the crystal. So you've got a huge expense there. Now this is my own set. Uh, if it was for a customer I would give them the option because it would have to be on a pricing, uh, priced on a time and cost basis. I said it is a bit out as far as I go. I've improved it a bit it's as good as we're going to get with this crystal in it. Let's just check it again. Yes, yeah, 79088. It should be 79125. Alright, so we were on the receive. So we'll plug that speaker back in. So in actual fact, we've got 0.3 of a microvolt on that. Now I don't need to, what we do, we'll get the camera two onto the cyanide meter and then we can both see if I'm gonna make any improvement to this. Although it's pretty sensitive, it may not be set up right. I've just been talking to myself and realizing the thing wasn't on record. So I don't know quite where we've where we got to, but I was showing that we've got S9. Well, we did have S9 on the meter. There we are, S9 on the meter. And the adjustment for that is there. I've set up the squelch. The adjustment for that is there. So the snags which aren't going to go away, which would only be rectified by taking the whole thing apart, would be to change the oscillator crystal there in the um, VCO can. And 
if we knew we could get spare parts, if we had a, a scrap chassis, there is of course that blue core could be changed, but I'm sure it's its optimum position and we won't be getting this performance. Conversely, that one's been mashed about by the diamond encrusted golden screwdriver, and that could do with being changed. And I think these are those cup type, if you've ever seen them. I don't think they're the ones that go all the way through like these are. I think they're the cup ones, so you can't turn them over. So, considering... Now, so I've bought this as a working set, but it wasn't working, was it? Because there was no transmitted audio from that TriStar mic. Now, whether or not it's the mic that's faulty, which is now in the bin, or whether it was that mic wiring to the secondary socket they put in for whatever reason... And of course, this chap might have bought it like this. Does working mean it lights up? Because it lit up. You know, I don't know what working means. Um, you know, if unless they're active CB enthusiasts, they're not going to have a, even a clue, are they? So there we go. Um, I'm going to go now into the other workshop, and you can join me there. I'll get a camcorder in there, and we'll set up that. Uh, one which needs doing on the spectrum analyzer on the spectrum analyzer and who knows we might get a little bit more power out of it um, So we'll see so I'll pause this we'll come back and I'll insert the footage at the appropriate point hopefully I've had a change of plan I decided to bring the spectrum analyzer here It is I've propped it up on top of the cyanide meter what we've done is to cut this box uh, I'll just go for a wider shot. So this is connected to the radio. I've got a dummy load in there. It's not going to the Marconi test set, and it's taking uh, minus 40 decibel si um, sample into the spectrum analyzer. And I've just done a quick check. We'll just put the spectrum analyzer on the insert squirt screen. And what we've got is when I key up. We've got minus three dBm, so we're, we're well within the uh, capability of not blowing up the machine. So now we'll just look at the 54 meg portion, which is what the idea is, which is the second harmonic. So it's going to be about 54, 55, 56. But do you know what? It's tiny. It's there. That's the one. So We'll now tune if I move this camera it's probably about where we want it. And if I've just dislodged that meter, can I get to it any better? I need the yellow tool. So I'm keying up again as you can now see. So it's a very, very small amount. So I'll just go back to uh, our centre frequency. And what we'll just do is we'll just maximise that.
So in fact, I have got a bit more power out of it, and we're going to have to try and adjust this meter. So I said, I said it was spot on, and it was the preset under the meter through the hole, just about. So I'll just do that. We're doing just about three watts now, so it's now reading over the top on the meter. So we've got nothing on, it's virtually nothing on that 55 meg uh, second thing. So I've set that the maximum power on the radio. That's spot on. There's hardly anything showing. So um, the jobs are good, and as they say. So I've checked that the soldering on that um, aero socket is in order, which it is. I've just touched that up, and um, I'll recover the bits out of the dishwasher. And we'll do an on-the-air test with Mr. Chippy later. So thank you for watching the Fidelity CB3000, rather a tatty version with a few broken bits, but it looks to me like it's going to be working okay.